New at 10, we bring you the power of pig poo. Fox 2 meteorologist Chris Higgins got this assignment, traveling to northwest Missouri to see how a St. Louis business owner and one of the largest hog operations in the nation are teaming up to turn piles of pig manure into clean, renewable energy. How we use our resources is extremely important, and we shouldn't consider anything as waste anymore. It is considered the largest project of its kind. Raceline Alternative Energy of St. Louis has teamed up with Smithfield Foods Hog Production Division. They are essentially turning pig poo <laughs> into power. What we have is a solution that turns it into an opportunity to create energy. Smithfield Foods operates nine hog finishing farms in northern Missouri. It's one of the largest operations in North America. This is probably the first step, I would say, in agriculture uh, creation of alternative energy. This is a clean alternative energy, uh, and most importantly, it's a renewable energy. That renewable energy is a direct result of what happens in these lagoons, where Smithfield traps all that stinky stuff generated by the two million hogs in their system. Where some see his smelly waste, Rudy Raceline sniffed out an opportunity. Well, behind me is a, a typical lagoon. This lagoon is uh, about 16 feet deep. Uh, it covers about four acres, roughly 16 million gallons of manure. In the past, these poo lagoons created tremendous odor and released huge amounts of methane, major greenhouse gas that is 25 times more destructive than carbon dioxide. There was also the challenge of managing contaminated water runoff during heavy rainfall. This cover actually prevents that. Instead of now being uh, a potential problem, it becomes an asset. That it is key to the process called anaerobic digestion. Here's how it works. You head on out to the hog barn, and in the hog barn, they scoop the pig poop, send it down into the pig poop lagoon. Inside that lagoon, the manure goes through decomposition, and then that biogas forms underneath that new impermeable cover provided by Raceline. Raceline then siphons off the gas, they process it, and they clean it. And in 2016, when the project is complete, they will begin pumping 98% pure methane into the national gas pipeline. Raceline estimates they will recover some 2.2 billion cubic feet of pipeline quality natural gas from the 88 Smithfield lagoons. That's the energy equivalent of filling 56,000 big rig trucks with a full tank of diesel fuel. And that gas can be used in a power plant, it can be used in an industrial plant, it can be used to set up a, a vehicle station and actually compress gas and put it in a vehicle. It's a $120 million investment both Smithfield and Raceline hope will turn piles of poo into mountains of green. In far northwest Missouri, Chris Higgins, Fox 2 News. And the video for this story was provided by Smithfield Foods because they limit access to their hog barns for biological safety reasons. And we could have used some of that pig poo. About